Okay, so in this series, we are going to be baking passwordless authentication into our Laravel application. Now, if you have absolutely no idea what passwordless authentication is, of course, I'm gonna show you a demo right now, and we're gonna take a look at how this works. So uh, the first thing to note is the login page here, which is the uh, kind of login page when I click this link up here, it looks completely different. Obviously we don't have a password here. What we can actually do is still log in with a password if we want, but we're really focusing on how to do this with no password. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is just sign up. Now notice that we are allowing a password in here when we sign up. Uh, really what we can do is change this around to do whatever we want. So I'm gonna leave it completely open. So if you wanted to disable passwords altogether or change the flow of this or really just do whatever you want, that's absolutely fine. But for now what we're gonna do is assume that the user is gonna sign in with a very strong password or at least register with a very strong password and then in the future, they may want to sign in without a password. So they might not want to have to keep entering their password. So in that case, then once I have an account registered, this is in the database, we obviously have a password stored. But now when we log in by default, we go ahead and enter our email address. We can check to be remembered. So this will work in exactly the same way. And then we can send a magic link. So once we click this, what this will do is it will fire off an email, which will allow us to then go ahead and click a link to sign in. Now I'm using MailTrap here just to test this. It's just a very quick way to test uh, sending email without having to send it to a real email address. But in this case, it would be emailed to alex at codecourse.com. So notice here then that we have uh, an email, just pretty plain for now, we're not gonna bother styling this up, but we have a long token in here. And then we also have uh, remember equals zero because I didn't check remember when I went ahead and signed in. If I were to have checked that, it would go ahead and pass this into the query string and then I would be remembered when I eventually sign in. And then we also, for just a little bit of further protection, also have the email address in the URI. Now this is really important because we don't want to leave this open to potential abuse. So we've kind of implemented two security factors here. One, the email has to match and of course the token has to match as well. So when we click this, we're literally just signed in. Now notice that the link has expired. I happen to have set this to a very short period of time, but we can adjust that. So since the link has expired, let's go ahead uh, and just kick this flow off again. So again, it's really important that we do expire links, uh, makes a lot of sense. So here's my new magic link. I click it and I happen to be signed in. So that is pretty much it, to be honest. We're gonna leave this open so you can customize it however you want. We're gonna leave it so we can configure it however we want and generally make it so it's just very, very easy to work with and doesn't really get in the way of your application. It just allows you to kind of tack this on. So let's go ahead and in the next part, look at setting all of this up and we'll finish this off.